All right, guys, we're live. Everybody's watching you, Jun. Ooh. Hi, say 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Okay, so um, a few things. This is Jun, my son, my firstborn, my big boy. <laughs> so uh, he's going to be joining me for the first 10 minutes mm -hmm. of the show. And I am, I, I, I am not quite done with all the preparations um, to name a few. I wasn't able to disable the screensaver on this <laughs> computer. So today, as you saw in the title, we're going to be talking about um, some COVID-19 vocabulary because many of you actually requested uh, that we talk, do talk about it. I'm going to also open this computer right here to see your chat right now. So please bear with me. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Do you want to say bye already, or do you want to say hi? <laughs> okay, you were just joking. So, 안녕하세요. Yul is outside. This is June, right? Where's Where's Yul, June? Yuri. Hmm. 밖에서 엄마랑 같이 뭐라고 있나 모르겠어요. You don't know what he's doing outside. 네 보이 아니 봐야죠. Yeah, you have to see. Okay, so I can see you guys um, leaving messages here. There are some words that June would like to help you learn. 안녕하세요. 그리고 여기에 엄청 많은 사람들이 음. 구독인가? Mm -hmm, they're watching. 시청. 어, 잠시만. 구, 시청? 구독이 subscribing. 어, 시, 시, 시청하고 모든 있어. 사람, 모든 사람이 다 시청을 했으면 완전 좋을 텐데. They are watching. <laughs> okay. People from Poland and so we have the first question here. 한국은 코로나 어때요? How is the situation? How is the coronavirus in Korea now, Jun? What do you think? 음. 둠 원래 한 명으로 있었는데 지금 두 명으로 늘었지만 그치만 뭐 어때요? <laughs> yeah. Two million, two million, but you have to think. Okay. This is a kid's version of um, explaining what the coronavirus situation is. So you, yeah, that was really good. I think it was a really cute way of explaining. Um, so he basically said uh, there was one coronavirus, but now there are two. 맞아요. Yeah. 맞아 맞아. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Jun, you prepared uh, a few words that you want to teach people in Korean, right? 마지막다? Yeah. What's the first word you want to teach them? 진심. 진심. 그, 그 다음은 거짓말. 거짓말. 그 다음은 사실. 그 다음. 그 다음은. 진. 실. 진실. Yeah. My handwriting is not so good. So what's 진심. I will. Can I write here, Jun, behind you on the computer? I don't have to. 네. But they want to see it. Can I? Is it okay? 안 해도 괜찮아요. Ah, okay. I don't have to do it. 진심은 yeah. 결혼식 할때 uh, 뽀뽀 안 하는 것처럼 좀 비슷한데 그럴 때는 상관 없지만 좀 비슷하다고만 말한 건데 음. 그렇지만. Yeah. This is. 진심은 진심은 진심. 딱, 딱 실제로 진짜 뽀뽀한 것처럼 음. 그런 거예요. 그리고 그냥 진심을 다 진심을 다안해 음. 하면 그러면 음. 그러면 진짜로 사랑이 빠진 건 아니고 아. 도, 그냥. Okay, can I explain a little bit? 딸기가 음. 하늘에서 한 개만 떨어진 것처럼요? Okay, can I explain that in English for a little bit? All right. So basically, what he says is. 많이 설명해요. Explain a lot. Okay. Um. So it's <laughs> today is his first. It's he heard the word 진심 for the first time today. That was his. Um, imagination as to what 진심 means. So basically, he says if you don't 진심을 다해서 사랑하지 않으면 맞아, 맞아, 맞아. you're not really in love. 맞아, right? 맞아, 맞아. right? It's as if only one strawberry fell from the sky. 
Am I correct? Did I do a good job? Okay, what's the next word? 그 다음은 yeah. 거짓말. 거짓말은 mm. 진심이 아니라 그냥 농담도 아니고 그냥 장난도 아니고 mm -hmm. 접시를 깨뜨리는 실수로 깨뜨렸는데 아니라고 mm. 아니라고 등에 숨겨 놓고 yes. 그냥 그냥 안 했다고 uh. 그냥 하면 그게 I see. Hello, Yul. So, 거짓말 is a lie, right? If you break a dish and you say that you didn't break it and you hide the broken dish behind your back, that's 거짓말, okay? Can 그리고 I? Yeah. 다음은 음. 사실. 사실, what's 사실? 사실은 진심이랑 음, 비슷해요. 그리고 mm -hmm. 진, 진심. 진실은 음. 엄청 사실보다 더 음. 중요한 거고 오, 사실은 예. 음, 조, 1% 더 1% 더 음. 비어 있어요. 와우, wow. I I didn't teach him like I didn't ask him to uh, explain it like this, but that was great. Uh, I think what he said is really true. 진실, which means truth, is more important than 사실, which is a fact. And yeah, yeah. 사실 is 1% less important than 진실, because 진실 is the truth, you know? The truth is always the most important thing. Um, yeah, yeah. So any, any other word you want to teach them before you have to go? Uh, 진실. 진실, you already explained it. Um, 그럼 다음은... Yeah. So, okay, here. There's a word that you... Okay, this is a good quiz opportunity for you, okay? I'm gonna actually wrote down a word that he doesn't know yet. You don't know this word, do you? 방심. 방심. So, I'm going to explain it in English. You are going to guess what it means. He's going to guess what it means too. I'm gonna write it here. 방심. Oh, it's very small. 안녕, 엄마! 방심. By the way, please bear with us because our um, two-year-old kid is running around just barging into the room and... <laughs> 우당탕탕! <laughs> 우당탕탕! Okay, that was a good... 아나마르피아. 우당탕탕! You're covering the screen. Come here. Oh. This way, yeah. <laughs> Udang tang tang is like. Wang! 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 Don't cover your ears saying that it's too noisy, he says. It's not the sound that you hear now. He's gonna make udang tang tang. That, that's udang tang tang. Thank you. Awesome. Sit. Come back. <laughs> because there's a little bit of delay here. Here, you can look at the screen to see everything in real time. Yeah, it's a little bit delayed. Jun, so look here. Udang tang tang. So udang tang tang was the sound that Yul was making earlier, and you explained so well. Now. Okay. Yeah, you're you're actually here. Yeah. Yeah. So Jun, I'm gonna explain what pangshim means. Okay. Pangshim is when you were careful before but then now you think it's safe oh like we were fighting like this right uh -huh. that's Whoa! Uh -huh. yeah we were where you're still here but we're talking about this one so look touch my punch okay Shh. you're stopping it 
So now I say the fight is over, right? 네. And you believe me, and you're doing something else, okay? And then you're not ready to fight with me anymore. And then I hit you like this, bam. And then you say, ah, 방심했다. What does it mean? 그거 그거 함정 mm. 같은 거예요. It's like a trap. Yes. 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 어 그거 하니까. 이 함정 생각난다. 음. 뭐냐면 <웃음> 음, 공부하고 있을 때 음. 놀라게 핸드폰을 조용히 받아만 다음에 그리고 앱스토어에서 음. yeah. 음. 게임 사서 게임 쓰고. <웃음> okay, so that was a good example actually. So when 방심 means letting your uh, guard down. Yeah. Letting your guard down is 방심. So he says, um, if you are um, studying on your phone, oops, and if somebody takes your phone and they download mm -hmm. some games from the app store, you let your guard down. 방심하지 마세요. Your kids or your friend might download an app from the app store. Okay, Jun. Um, that's it for you. Can you, do you want to say anything to everyone before you go? Before I continue on with the coronavirus vocabulary? Oh, coronavirus, I want to do the same Really? Yes. How about, okay. Corona is You You know well, you know much about the coronavirus. All right, so everyone, uh, I will read your comments. By the way, if you're join, joining after the live session is over and seeing the saved video, you can see the top pinned comment for all the time codes about what I talk about in the video. All right, so let me... Uh, okay, so I'm going to go to the top of... Do you see all the comments? Ooh, Ooh, yeah, it's not a touch screen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, we are there! <laughs> all right. So everybody's saying that you did an amazing job. Thank you for teaching. And Jun, I think I think um, it's that's it for you. Okay. Coronavirus. Then sit and choose just two words that you can explain. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can pick one for you. What is this? Soto. Yeah, so explain what sodok is. Sodok is a sodok. It's like a sodok. But the sodok is a sodok. 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 The sodok is a If you visit us at our place, he will let you know. So, what happens if you sodok your hands? What happens to your hands if you sodok? Sodok kamen What happens? Then, when the soldiers were there, all of them, all of them, all of them, all of them, all Yes, so let me explain. Let me translate. Sodok is. I, Sodok is. Yes. All right. So, Son is your um, the hand sanitizer that you can use, right? So, Sodok is sterilization, and Sodok Te means um, the chemical. So, Son Sodok is sanitizer, and he says that if you sanitize your hands, the sanitizer uh, with strong punches, they will kick the germs away. Ne. Perfect. Okay, just one more word before you go uh, to mom. I, th these are really um, difficult words actually. Mm. 
번개 보셨죠? <웃음> yes. Did you see the scratch on his head? Here. 이렇게 oh. Yeah, too much, too much. Look, look at the printer over there. 보이죠? <웃음> 엄청 멋지죠? Because <laughs> I, I was on my way to the hairstylist and he asked me, what kind of shape of scratch will you get to me, right? And I said, uh, not this time, but next time, I promise. Because I'm a little shy. Mm. It looks good on you, but I don't know if it'll look good on me. Do you think it'll look good on me too? Yes. What shape should I have? Okay, I'll decide. All right, Jun, that's it. Thank you. Come on. Yogeso. Hmm. Okay. How about this one? Chiru. 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 You know this word, right? What is chiru? Explain. Chiru is. Hmm. Do. 어떤 사람이. Hmm. 음 아플 때. Hmm. 음 아플 때. Hmm. 볼때 어, 치료할 수 있는 거예요. <웃음> 아, 맞다가지 뭐래. <웃음> okay, I will not copy you. So what happens if you 치료 someone? 또 아. They're sick, and then you do 치료 on that person, and they become. 딱 다시 한 번만 말해. They're sick. And you give them some 치료, and what happens to them? 그러면 다시 건강해지고, 음 다시 집으로 돌아와서 잠시만요. 이게 우당탕탕 방송 도대체? Yeah, 우당탕탕. You you saw it again. So yeah, 치료 is treatment, cure. Yes, perfect. Jun, thank you so much. Amazing. Say bye to everyone. And 안녕히 계세요. 그리고 절대로 제 집에 제 집에서 어? 제 집에서 음. 제 집에서 우당탕탕 우리 음 듣고 싶다고 맨날 놀 놀러 오지는 말아요. 우당탕탕 소리 꼭 기억해줘요. 제가 힘들게 말한 거니까요. Yeah, he put it put so much effort into explaining what udang tang tang means. So don't forget it. All right, Jun. Thank you. I'll see you in about thirty minutes. Okay. 네. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Thank you. 아 잠시만요. 우당 tang tang 소독제 좀 다시 보여줘요. Here, it's here. 안돼. Okay. So. Thank you, Jun. Yeah. All right, everyone. Uh, let me read your comments for the first time from the top. Hi. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, a lot of comments about. Uh, oh, he's um, five. That's a udang tang tang sound, Jun. Did you do it on purpose? Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. 우당 탕탕 소리 들 들어본 사람은 저한테 와서 들어봤다고 말해주세요. 안 들어봤다 그러면 you will be disappointed. Okay, so he's five. Almost, he's turning six in international age and. Seven in Korean age, so he will go to. But 아까 전에 그거 next year. 운건 쉬었어요. 자 온다고 미안하다고 계속 미안해 미안해 미안해요 이렇게 말하지 말아요. 그러면 진짜 올 거예요. Yeah. All right. Bye. Jun. Jun. Open the door. Get out. Close the door. In five seconds. Five. Four. Three, two, okay, he's gone. Thank you uh, for being so kind. Yeah. This is, you know, not even the hard part of parenting. This is just cute, I think. Um, he, he likes to, I mean, he has a younger sibling. 동생이 있으니까, 
he's like the leader, a boss type already. I think he takes it from me. But yeah, I hope that was <laughs> fun. Yes, uh, 고정우님 아들은 사장님인 것 같아요. He's my boss. Yes. Um, uh, 집중하지 못해요. 준이가 너무 귀여워서. Uh, you can't focus because he's so cute. Thank you. Uh, 누굴 더 닮았어요? I think he looks um, from the front. He looks like he looks more like me, but from the side, he looks more like uh, my wife. He understands English uh, really well. Yes. Uh, this live session will be saved to the channel later. Yes. And then, all right. So he. he talked about 진심, 거짓말, 사실, 진실. I hope that's clear. All right, let me just scroll down all the way. Yeah, I think you got um, a very big dose of 맞아, 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 맞아. Here and there. Okay. All right, so uh, as you saw in the title of the video, I want to cover some COVID-19 Korean vocabulary because um, many people requested a lesson on this. Uh, I could give you uh, a few words here and there, but then it wouldn't be you know, so convenient for you to look up words related to uh, the current situation. So. Um, just because I'm talking about COVID-19 vocabulary, it doesn't mean uh, that it's going to be a very heavy topic. Um, I'm just going over, I, I will just go over the vocabulary. And if you have um, any um, questions about the particular words, how they are used in sentences, please let me know. So in Korea, COVID-19 um, is referred to as Corona uh, and or Corona I'll go over them really quickly because there are a lot of them. And infection is 감염. Infection is 감염. And you can say 감염되다 um, to get infected. 감염됐어요. So and so got infected. And I saw uh, this question. How to say get well soon? 빨리 나으세요. 빨리 나으세요. 빨리 회복. 회복. 회복하다 is to recover, so you can say 빨리 회복하세요, 빨리 나으세요. And uh, testing, 검사, 검사 is uh, testing. So 검사를 받다, uh, 검사를 받다 is to be tested. A lot of people are being tested, like over 20,000 people in Korea are getting tested every single day, which I think is um, amazing. Um, that's the way I think it should be. So. 검사를 받다, 검사 많이 받고 있어요. And when you get tested, you get the results, right? Um, okay, can you say 빨리 건강하세요? You can't because 건강하다 is the current state to be healthy. So you can't say get or be healthy soon, uh, literally, because 건, uh, 건강해지다 can be possible, become healthy, but um, 회복하다, recover, is a little better. Okay, so uh, when you get the test results back, you uh, you can say that uh, somebody is positive or negative. So positive is 양성, corona, uh, COVID-19 positive, or 음성, okay? Hopefully, um, most people who, uh, or everyone who gets tested will turn out to be 음성, negative. Um, and 판정 is you, you are, you get the test results, and the test results say you are positive. So 판정을 받다, you receive. Uh, and then people also say 양성이 나오다. So 양성 나왔어요. Like the test results came out and the result positive came out. All right. And then 음성 나왔어요. And then if you are uh, tested and you were uh, classified as uh, COVID-19 patient. Patient in Korean is, like usually patient is uh, 환자. 환자 is a patient. I'm going over everything really quickly. I will get back to some of your questions later. Um, and then 환자 is the general word for 
a patient, but these days, 확진 uh, is uh, 확진자 is used to refer to COVID-19 patients. Uh, yeah, so 확진자, 확진자, 확진자. And a lot of text messages are sent from the government to all the citizens. And uh, the most common word we see in the text messages that we receive like several times a day or uh, through Kakao talk messages. 동선. 동선 is 동 is to move, 선 is line. So 동선 is where this patient went, like at what time, and then another place, the next place that this person visited at, you know, what time. So the root of this person's movements. Okay, that's 동선. Hello, Jun. Okay, yeah, you're gonna put on your socks. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Bye. Close the door for me. So, 동선. So, bye bye. Bye bye. 동선 공개 is a common expression that you see. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's, he was back <laughs> with his socks. So, uh, so that people can uh, check which hospital this person went to, which bakery this person went to. Korea has a lot of CCTVs, like uh, many countries around the world, and they're being super quick with uh, like figuring out where this person went uh, very, very much in detail. And uh, credit card usage in Korea is super high, like over 80%. So it's, uh, I think, relatively more efficient yeah. Um, so 동선 공개 is revealing information about the person's uh, movement route, and 격리 is isolation. 격리, 격리, and 자가 격리 is like your uh, self-isolated isolation at your own home, and 재택근무, 재택근무, 재택근무 is uh, also a trending theme these days on social media because 재택 재택 is house, 근무 is working, so remote remote working, so working from home. Um, Talk to me in Korean is also um, encouraging 재택 근무 for everyone. I'm going to the office every day because, uh, yeah, I, you know, you saw <laughs> June running into the room every five minutes. Um, so I just go over there. I'm usually there by myself or just one other person. Uh, and work there for 10 hours and come back. But most people on the Talk To Me Korean team are working from home. They just get up, they don't have to worry about um, traveling to the office, uh, to the subway, and they just, we're online and we're talking um, to each other online. And then 치료, June explained it really well, I think, earlier. Treatment, um, uh -huh. Bangkok is also trending. Bangkok uh, is, Ten, ten, 10 hours? Yes. Um, ah, quarantine. Quarantine is also yeah, used for 자가격리 or 격리. Bangkok, we're not talking about the city, Bangkok. This, this has been around for a really long time because Bang is room in Korean and Kok is like when you are stuck in one place or when you don't move, um, when you don't get out much, you say 방에. 콕 처박혀 있어요. 방 방에 콕. So 방콕 together. It's just a uh, word play for meaning um, not leaving the house. So that's a common word you see here and there. Um, so related to 치료, we see 완치. 완 is complete, completion. Uh, 치 is treatment. So 완치 means completely treated. So completely recovered from um, whatever disease it is. So anti. So when you go on uh, websites where you see COVID nineteen current situation um, data, you see um, 확진자. So and so how many patients and 완치, how many people have recovered completely? And then 고령자. Um, this is also a common word you will see in the news articles because. Ko means high, 령 
is a word for age, um, and cha is person. So kuryongja means uh, the elderly, older people, because uh, the elderly are uh, weaker to the virus, I think. Um, so kuryongja is commonly mentioned. And of course, mask, mask, mask. Seda, that was my wife, Udang Tang Tang. <laughs> so uh, we, we put a little, what do you call it? Like a pull up bar plus a swing for kids thing in the door, and that's kind of jamming into the door every time we close it. Oh, ice cream. Uh, they're going to get, go get some ice cream. So, uh, yeah, mask could wear a mask. Uh, and then you see gongjeok mask uh, quite commonly in Korea too. Um, you can buy masks online from individual vendors or you can buy these gongjeok mask. Uh, Korea is also has started implementing the um, what do you call it? A system where you get two masks, you can buy two masks depending on the uh, year of birth of the person. You, so I was born in the uh, year 1980, so my day for buying masks is Friday. So I can go to a nearest pharmacy and buy two, up to two masks. I have um, some masks already, so, so uh, I don't have to worry about, worry about it now, but if I want more masks, I can go on Friday or on weekends, okay? 공적 마스크. 공적 마스크 uh, means that it's public use, use mask. Hello, Jun. Where are you going? 저 아이스크림 사러 가요. Okay. Will you buy some for me too? 네. 아빠 거는 훨씬 많이 사올게요. What's my favorite flavor? Do you know? 네. 초코맛. Yes. 초코맛. 다섯 개 사올게요. Five? 네. Do you think that's enough? 네. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Do you have money? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good plan. <laughs> All right. So. Let's move on. So, Gongjong Mask, I was kind of in the middle of explaining it. Um, so, there are masks that individual vendors sell, and there are masks that the government is providing in collaboration with mask, uh, I guess, manufacturers that you can only get through uh, pharmacies. All right. And, Sodok, Sodok Jun explained it really well. Um, sterilization, 손 소독제, hand sanitizers. Um, every elevator I take these days um, has a bottle of 손 소독제 next to the buttons because um, so that people can press a button and just sanitize their hand and leave the elevator. Okay, uh, I have just three more words to deliver to you um, uh, before I. Look at some questions and answer them. 사회적 거리, social distance. So 사회적 거리 is social distance. 사회 is society. 사회적, social. 거리 is distance. So 사회적 거리, 사회적 거리. But obviously, you want to put it in a sentence. So 사회적 거리를 두다. So 사회적 거리를 둡시다 is something that you often hear, like 둡시다. Like let's have social distance. And um, maybe you can also rephrase it like 사회적 거리 사회적 거리 두기 campaign a campaign where you have social distance with people. Three more, uh, two more expressions. 상황 상황 is situation 상황 so 상황이 호전되다 상황이 되다. Two um, opposites. So, 상황 is situation. 상황이 호전. 호 means good. 
전 is changing. 호전되다 means it gets better. 상황이 호전되다. So you can say 상황이 호전되고 있어요. The situation is getting better. Or 상황이 악화되다. 악 is bad. 화 is also changing. So 악화되다. It's worsening. So I hope that 상황이 호전되었으면 좋겠어요. In many countries. 여러 나라에서 상황이 호전되었으면 좋겠습니다. 여러 나라에서 상황이 빨리 호전되었으면 좋겠습니다. Okay. Uh, yes, like uh, 노자회로님 말씀하신 것처럼 like you said, 호전 can also mean um, what's the uh, belligerent? You like fighting? Yeah, that, it's a different set of Hanja characters. Alright, so I'm gonna go and look at some questions. Uh -huh. hmm. 맛있는 아이스크림 먹어라. <laughs> All right. Min Mini, uh, we shouldn't be eating ice cream. Is it because it's too late? <laughs> All right. So what is 동선 again? 동선 is the root of the person's movement, like which places somebody has visited. So whenever there's a new patient of COVID-19, we get text messages. Uh, not everybody in the country, but people in the same um, uh, administrative district, the same 행정구역, usually 구, there are 25 구's in Seoul. Uh, so you, if you are like in, for example, Gangnam-gu, um, if there was a new patient of COVID-19 in the area, you get notified of which exact bookstore they visited, at what time they will see everything. So you can see everything and you can avoid that place maybe. All right. How to check which day you can buy a mask in Korea? You um, just divide the five days of the weekdays into, yeah, so uh, I hope I'm right. So if you were born in 1981, you can buy your masks on Monday, 1982. So your the last digit of your birth year, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Monday through Friday. 6 to 10, Monday through Friday. And Saturday and Sundays, um, you can buy your masks whenever. If you couldn't buy your um, assigned um, quota for the week, uh, during the week. Okay. Mask 너무 비싸요. Yes. Um, masks from individual vendors can go up to like uh, 7,000 won, 7,000 won. But the 공적 masks that I, I talked about uh, are 1,500 won. 1,500 won. 1,500 won. So that's uh, about uh, 1 US dollar. So that's very cheap. Okay. Let me see if there are other questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, donation. Donation is kibu. Kibu. Donation. Okay. Roselle Lin, will this video be recorded? It is going to be saved for later viewing. And we are doing uh, many live classes for the next couple of weeks. And we will save all the videos, even though that might mean there's like a lot for you to watch. But hopefully, it's a good thing for you if you want to learn a lot uh, in a short period of time. Okay. 소독하다. Yeah, 소독. 소독을... You can say, uh, where is the cursor? 소독하다 or 소독을 하다. Both are fine to sanitize, to sterilize. Okay. Uh, mm. 안내. So what does 안내 mean? Uh, you see it often, uh, Loki Todd asks, what is 안내? I often see it in the information posts. 안내 is, um, 
an ne. Information or information is usually like so it's a little different. An ne is more like guidance. When you show someone the way to a certain place, you are an ne an ne haneng goyo. Okay. And this is not related to COVID nineteen, but what's the difference between prepyong and pulman? So. Prepyong and Bulman are similar. Prepyong is um, complaint. Bulman is dissatisfaction. So you can feel dissatisfied. Bulman or the kirsuitzo, you can feel it. But if you don't say anything, there's no prepyong. Prepyong is when you verbally actually express your bulman. So yeah, prepyong is a verbal expression of your bulman, I would say, or written or spoken. Okay. Uh, all right, 고령자, 고령자 and 노인 are similar. Uh, they both refer to uh, old people, but 고령자 is a little more PC, politically correct, and more applicable in, um, I guess, data contexts. Yeah, so 노인 is just pretty much um, anyone who is old and it doesn't have a really good connotation. If you are referred to as a Nguyen, uh, you wouldn't feel good. But yeah, so Nguyen, don't call anyone Nguyen directly. Don't call anyone Ko <laughs> uh, directly either. But you see Ko more commonly in the news because it's a little more politically correct and it's just, yeah. Because literally speaking, Nguyen means old person and this is high age person. Which one would you prefer? Would you Would you be old or high age <laughs> right uh, okay let me scroll down joyful one zero two five um i'm so worried that i'll uh, that it'll take that it'll take forever to learn korean don't worry about it um in a way, learning a new language will literally take forever. It's, there's no end. Um, I've been learning, learning <laughs> English um, for the past 20 plus years and there's no end. I will forever be improving every day because you know, there's you know, an endless amount of new things to learn. So for you, it'll take forever too, but um, until you become conversational it'll take a couple of years so don't worry too much just keep studying every day okay oops yes i'll figure out the screensaver situation <laughs> for tomorrow morning by the way uh, i'll do another live session tomorrow at 7 a.m korean standard time so like um nine hours from now if you missed this sh uh, show for some reason. Okay, uh, R Black Whites asks, what is Samsepan? Samsepan. Mm. So, Sam is three. Se, se, pan. se is three. Sepan. So, Pan is usually um, a round of a game. So, Hanpan. One round of a game. Paduk Hanpan. Chess Hanpan. One round of game of go or a game of chess 삼세판 한판 한판 두판 세판 and 삼세판 is usually um, used when you are for example doing rock paper scissors 가위 바위 보 and uh, you won or you lost and you can say 삼세판 삼세판 you just say it like that without putting it in a sentence and it means two out of three like you know let's do three rounds and Whoever wins two rounds out of it will win. So, some sepan. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do you say someone has uh, the coronavirus? Corona. Ilgu. Uh, coronavirus. Hollossoyo. Or coronavirus. Yang song na wassoyo. Or coronavirus. Hakjin tadasoyo. I will actually delete the repeated parts. 
so and make it a little smaller. Um, this is when you say that somebody has the coronavirus, like 걸렸어요, when you get infected, like you can say 감기 걸렸어요. Yeah, so you, I have a cold, 감기 걸렸어요. Um, so it's the same thing, you got caught by the uh, disease and coronavirus 걸렸어요 or 양성 나왔어요. Coronavirus 양성 나왔어요. The result of uh, COVID-19 positive came out or 확진 받았어요. I have gotten the test result saying I am. Um, so 진료 is when you... Um, I, I, can't, I can't really think of the uh, official word for 확진 but you have been... Um, I'll, I'll put it in the description. I'll look it up. Sometimes words don't just come to me, especially because it's late at night. But 확 is confirmation and 진 is medical um, treatment. So the doctor says, hey, um, you got confirmed of, yeah, I think it's com confirmation. Yeah. Okay. So, or 확진 받았어요. Those are the three sentences that you can use. Hopefully you don't have to say it. Uh, all right. Yeah, you were diagnosed. Um, yeah, 진단 진단 받았어요 is diagnosed. 확진 is the diagnosis was confirmed. So yeah, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. You don't use this in normal situations, day-to-day -day situations, but these days under the COVID-19 circumstances, we're using it quite often. All right. I'm going to go over some questions um, really quickly from now on. This is going to be a speed Q&A session. Uh, what does 한다 mean? All right. How is it different from 하다? Hada is the dictionary form and 한다 is the De uh, declaration sometimes or the narrative uh, so you are thinking out loud so for example um, TV is on and you're saying oh drama handa the drama is starting you can say drama shijak handa shijak hada is to start you can't say it like that in a sentence but shijak handa it's like an exclamation hey it's starting talking to yourself announcing talking to other people at the same time okay and um, Anne Marie says, ni. What's the significance of the verb, uh, ni verb ending? Ni is a question like, hesso, like, um, pap mogosso, you know, when you say, did you eat? But by saying, pap mogosso, you're using pap mal, casual language, informal language, but you're talking kind of down to a, young, a younger person, pap mogosso. You can never say this to anybody older than you, and you usually don't say this to anybody who is of the same age as you. Like, it's it's a very poetic uh, way of asking someone or just talking to a child. It really depends on the intonation. Yeah, 삼세판 is best of three. All right, and then... What else? Uh -huh -huh. Uh, what does mean? What what does konde mean? This is going to be a little bit difficult for me to um, explain quickly, but to give you the bottom line, it's somebody who is uh, older than the other people in a group that is very nosy and who is always telling others, "Hey, back in my day, things used to be different." And um, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to. Be related to a certain age group. You can't really say that um, people in their 50s or 60s are gondes. People in their 30s can be a gonde. Gonde is someone that isn't uh, appreciative of individual differences and they're saying, hey, um, I know better because I'm older than you. I know better because I am at a higher position than you in, in social status. So that's gonde. So yeah, someone who doesn't understand the individual differences of usually younger people. Uh -huh. And then, 
Take care in Korean. Take care is uh, many things, but if you're talking about take care in the COVID-19 situation, the current situation, you can say, the best thing I think you can say is 건강 잘 챙기세요 or 건강하세요. 건강하세요 is usually used as a greeting for somebody older than you, uh, like be healthy, like your grandma that you will probably not see for a few months, uh, 건강하세요. Uh, but 건강 잘 챙기세요 these days is exchanged quite uh, a lot. Is, is the word 꼰대 negative? Very negative. You don't, nobody wants to be a 꼰대. Nobody wants to... Nobody, I mean, somebody who is a 꼰대 doesn't know that they are. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a very negative word. Okay. Um, how do you say try in the sense of making an effort? Try. Making an effort. 노력. 노력 is an effort. 노력하다 is to try, to make an effort. Okay? So, yeah. Take care is 건강 잘 챙기세요. Or if you want to say, hey, um, take care as a ca casual greeting. 잘 지내. 잘 지내세요. 잘 지내. 다음에 보자. Like, see you later. So there is no, like, one single translation of take care that matches like completely in Korean. Hmm. Nogul Jerome asks, what's the difference between popo and kiss? Um, basically the same in most cases between um, adults, I guess. <laughs> popo is like a, a light, it can be a light kiss on the cheek for a child or a baby, that's popo. But kiss is only between, um, I guess, people who are in love. No <laughs> hero nim says, like, the depth of your tongue, how deep your, go your tongue goes, maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, Yulia says, what does 가지고 mean? 가지고, you have something with you and go somewhere. That's one meaning. And the second meaning, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you are talking about the other meaning. I have a video. We have a video on Talk To Me In Korean. Um, just type in, just type 가지고 in the search bar and you will see a detailed video. But for you, it's the same. If you if you see 아 가지고, it's the same as 아 서. So 날씨가 좋아 가지고. It's a very colloquial way of saying 날씨가 좋아서, the weather is good, so, okay? Uh, Rina, Jesse, can you tell us about topic? Topic is a type of test you can take. Uh, test of proficiency in Korean is the full uh, name. And yeah, you can take the test to see how good your Korean is and you can uh, submit the test result to get a job somewhere. Yeah, we're preparing some topic preparation materials uh, on the website. Okay, two questions that I see right here. Um, Anne Marie is 참 안됐구나. Is it an you know is it an appropriate thing to send in a text message as a response when someone else is texting about sad or unfortunate things? I know that you shouldn't say I'm sorry, otherwise it seems your fault. Uh, okay, so 안됐구나. Um, you, you you can say it. It's not a bad thing. The other pe person will know that you care. But um, it's like, what a pity. But then it's it also gives off an impression that it's none of your business, that you're not affected by it. Um, you can say, if, if um, you hear about a sad incident of your friend's friend, Okay, you don't know the person directly. It's a friend's coworker, a friend's acquaintance. Maybe you can say it, but not to the person who's going through tr trouble. So, yeah, you can say other things. 어떻게? You know, it's shortened shortened from 어떻게? 어떻게? Like, what should we do now? Oh no, there are better ways to say. I'm sorry to hear that. And me, uh, Okilas, Okias, Hak Sanse. 
확산 is um, spreading. So 확산세를 보이다. 확산세 is also um, the trend of something. 세 also means power. And 확산세 is basically the trend of spreading. Talking about the virus. 확산세를 보이다. The virus is spreading. It's a very formal way to say uh, uh, the virus is spreading. All right. Mm. I'll answer three more questions before I go. Uh, Jan uh, Janet Taylor. Is it common to introduce yourself with the year you're born in so that people know how to address you? Mm, if they ask you uh, how old you are, you don't have to introduce yourself and then immediately give the birth year information, in my opinion at least. Okay. Oh, Eugene, Evangelista, 격리 해제 무슨 뜻이에요? Um, 격리 is isolation, quarantine, 해제 is it has been lifted, so you are released from quarantine. Um, so you come in contact with somebody who has the virus or who is likely to have the virus and you are isolated for two weeks and then the two weeks pass and you don't show any symptoms, 증상. Uh, 무증상 is like no symptoms. Um, you, so you don't sh show any sim symptoms, then you are released from the quarantine. That is 격리 해제. Yeah. 격리 해제. All right. One more question before I go. Nunmi uh, Sonu asks, 무슨 and 어떤 어떤 is usually when you have a list of things in front of your eyes which one? 어떤 어떤 so 어떤 맛 어떤 거 which one of these do you want? okay 무슨 is more broad 무슨 so um, when you have five colors in front of you it's 어떤 색 red 빨간색 노란색 파란색 검은색 etc 어떤 색 고르고 싶어요. Which one do you want to choose? 무슨 색 is out of all the millions of colors in the world, like 무슨 색, you know, what color? And um, yeah, so 어떤 is more specific, more, it's closer to which, but sometimes they overlap, sometimes they are just reversed. You just have to be exposed to a lot of uh, real life sentences where 무슨 and 어떤 are used. Um, they're not really always interchangeable. What's the difference between ara and ara? They're the same. Ara is the standard form, but people often say ara just as a habit for um, easier pronunciation. All right, so that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining today. I hope our live classes are helping and I was on my computer yesterday. Now I'm on my phone, actually. Um, I think the video quality is okay. And I, uh, yeah, from my office, uh, using the office Wi-Fi, sometimes the connection is okay, but sometimes it was um, patchy here and there. But now I'm just on my phone connection, and hopefully this is good enough. Thank you so much. I will see you in exactly nine hours at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning after I disable this thing. <laughs> Thank you. I will see you then. Now I have to watch the whole thing again to type in the time codes. 감사합니다. 공부 열심히 하세요. 안녕히 계세요.